What's up, everyone? What's up, everyone? Yeah. Right. That's not really working. What happened to the sun that was just here earlier? Need more light in my room. There we go. That's nice. Um, I don't seem to understand. Um, so usually my bed made and her pillow there and I lay it on the pillow. Doesn't seem to be standing on that or that. Um, okay. The jump chair. Okay. The jump cut you just saw was about 15 minutes because I was here, found a place, then I had to go out do work outside for about 10 minutes. I only go to the bathroom for about two minutes. And then I came back in here, found a spot, which is here, this lovely chair here. Because I wanted it to be a space, I didn't want to really want to be sitting down. So Anyway, welcome to another one of my videos. I know this is another book video, but I don't want to say I want to balance it out. I mean, like, I haven't done a book video in a while, so... Balance it out with like three, four book videos, whatever. And then I'm just going to go, like, balance it out, you know, so it's flat. Because at the start I used to be going, like, say this was the, um, uh, the non-book videos and this was the book videos. This was up here and it's like. And then all of a sudden it went. And now I'm just catching the book videos up. And it's going to run smoothly. Smoothly. So every... Okay. I've decided to do this. Every month, I'm going to discuss an author. So this is going to be the first one. And obviously, in your first one, you've obviously got to discuss your favourite author. Rick Ray Wadden. I don't have one of his books here, as I said, I'm in Canberra. So, I'm going to start with it. I was in about third grade when one of my friends was like, oh, I'm reading this book, and I'm like, really? And he's like, what is it? And he's like, Percy Jackson, Last Olympian. And then I'll see me. And so, obviously, I don't know what it is, I'm reading it. And like, 15 pages, and it's like, well, this is the last book of the series. But I really enjoyed this 15 pages. It's like, mate, you can't give me the last book of the series. Can you imagine? So that's the only book he's started reading. And then I went to the library and borrowed Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief. I opened it up, read it. Oh, bang. I was hooked. I was like, oh. It was literally... I was like, once I finished, I was like, crap, I have to get the next one. Went to the library. Caught the Sea of Monsters. By then, I obviously hadn't started my book collection. And then, for Christmas, after I finished Sea of Monsters, I found, for my Christmas, I got the Titus Cousins. I got the one. So I opened it up. Um, yeah, and started reading it. Um, which is cool, and I loved it. From then on, I read The Last Olympian. What I liked about them, they, it's not like most, where they're like, let's keep fighting. Then she got tired of fighting, which would happen in real life. It's not like you're fighting and you're like, I love it. You're getting tired of it. You want to actually settle down for a life. And you can imagine how stressful that'd be, and... In his books, he actually shows that, unlike some actual books where they're like, I could keep fighting all day. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. You know? So I think they did that one really well. And, like, the, the building of the characters, like, they can make, he makes you hate the characters you want him to hate. So, say, for Nancy Boffin, in the first book, it's like, he makes, describes it so well in a character that he hates and he wants you to hate so you understand the story. 
that goes along so well. Some of the people love. Like, Percy and Annabeth, they're just so cool. Nico, Nico, sorry. And all these other cool characters. So that is cool. Um, And then I was, like, just sitting there like, Miss Percy Jackson, and then all of a sudden I heard about, like, they already come out, and I heard that there was a series of Olympus, and I was like, yes, so I got Heroes of Olympus, the lost hero. It was better than any Rick Riordan book I ever read. I was, like, reading it, and the way he could change their perspectives, and even if the words weren't there, you could tell who you were reading from, even if it didn't say a name. You could tell because he made the characters so separate. And the first two did that really well. And they, int they introduced new characters. In the first one, I was like, I love these three new characters. But people started thinking like, oh, Jason Piper is an anti-Percy and Annabeth. That is not true. Piper's this little kick-ass girl. And then Jason's just like Percy and they're like, and the first time they meet in Mark of Athena, they're, they're like, just, oh, I'm better than you. Well, not like that, but they just don't really talk. And by the end of it, like, brothers. And I think how he develops the characters, makes some friends, makes some hate each other, is how his books really go along. Mark of Athena was great because they were sailing. It wasn't like most Rick Hardens. What's going New characters arrive in some, and then they go on a quest, they come back. That one, they went, kept going, and they had all these monsters come in. And at the last, the last page was almost, like, the last, the second last chapter and the last chapter from Leo, how he just felt like he was so disappointing, and the crew was, you know, and Leo... That was like the best Leo chapter, like it was the saddest for him. And then the one before that, when they fall off Percy and Annabeth fall off the cliff. If you haven't read this, this is spoilers, I'm just watching the video off, I just did it. So it has all that. Same with the last two books, they did not follow the main Rick Riordan thing, which, which I reckon that makes people like them more. Um... Like in Percy Jackson, Olympian, when I read the first read that, I was so shocked when how Luke killed himself to kill Cronus. I was like, well, from the start, I had something suspicious about Luke. I was like, I don't know, mate. And then by the end, I was like, series, I was like, Luke, come back. I wanted him to come back. I was missing him. Well, I didn't know any of his good version, but I was like, he was, and I liked how he tried to get Annabeth to run away with him. But after that, that really touched me. So I was like, Luke could come back and sacrifice himself. And if he didn't, and if Cronus got out of him, he would have been a great warrior and could replace and could have been on a quest of seven. Yeah. And I like how. So, in the last two books in the Heroes of Olympus, it's like everything's given up hope. He makes it, the characters sad, not just fighting all the time. They have lives. They, they're real people going through this. So, it's great. So, my favourite series out of all of them is the Heroes of Olympus. And then you've got Kane Chronicles. Great. Love the first book. Second was the worst for me. I, I still loved it, but it was the worst for me. And then Serpent Shadow. So I had a best to worst. None of them are bad. All of them are really good. But if I had to choose, the first, best one would be Red Pyramid, then the Throne of Fire, and then the... um Not the Throne of Fire, so Red Pyramid, Serpent Shadow, and then... They were great. And Magnus Chase. Magnus Chase. The way he can start a new series, but people still loving it, not feel like he's dragging on. Rick Riordan does that so well. 
and like yeah and then the trials of Paul and that was awesome as well so as you can tell I love his bride and this video is getting like very long I should end it here but I'm just saying I need to reboot my old Xbox so basically at the end of this month I'll be announcing who will be doing for the second month. I already have it in mind, but I have to wait for that, the end of that. I'll try and get one in every month. I might get one two a month if I miss one. So, yeah. And I'm really looking forward to the person I'm doing next. Like, I haven't read any of it. I've read one of his books. But I loved it, so that's a clue. So, hope you like my first author discussion. To be honest, I rate Rick Ray Orden 100 out of 100. Favourite. My absolute favourite. And then, can't wait to the second Trials of Apollo come out next year. And the third and final Magnus Chase. Actually, I need to go back and look at my videos. Have I reviewed the second Magnus Chase? I think I have. Now... Okay, come on guys, let's dab out, dab out, dab out.